He was considered one of the top defensive players in all of college football. With the season entering its second weekend, Quidipe is still on the sidelines with his Michigan teammates, the former Gatorade Player of the Year from Hendrickson, facing some big decisions over the next few months. He piled up 12 and a half tackles for loss and six and a half sacks in his junior season. Numbers that earned Quiddy Pay second team all Big Ten honors. The defensive lineman was ready to reach even higher as a senior, but his chance to shine still in limbo. You know, it sucks just because this past season, um, I just read up on all the stuff I had to improve on, all the stuff that I was lacking in this, this off season. Um, I really, I feel like I really worked hard and perfected my craft and making sure that I got better in those uh, specific, um, those specific uh, traits, traits that I lacked. So for them to cancel our season, it was just kind of a bummer just because of all the hard work that, that we had put in. The Big Ten canceled its fall season at the beginning of August, but this week President Trump said he talked with the league's commissioner about rethinking the choice, the back and forth, not Quiddy's focus. At first, I was like, I paid real close attention to like whether they'll delay the season or whether they'll uh, cancel the season, all that stuff. But they just kept giving false hope. So I kind of stopped getting my hopes up and stopped looking into all that stuff and like just been doing what I had to do here to help the to help the team. But when they make their uh, decision, uh, I'll be ready. If the conference plays later into the fall or in the spring, the former Hendrickson All-American will have to decide whether to suit up again for Michigan or spend his time preparing for the NFL draft. I'm just kind of waiting on like what decision the Big Ten and the NCAA is going to make just because like we don't know what's going on yet. And I'll have to obviously go back and talk to my mom and see what would be the best choice for, for uh, me and my family. But um, I'm not I'm not all too worried about like making that big uh decision just yet just because I'm trying to enjoy my last couple my last couple months with with the boys if, if these are my if these are my, are my last couple months with them you know on the watch list for the Nagurski and Bednarik awards for the top defensive player in college football pay is already appearing in the first round of mock drafts something he dreamed about when growing up it's, it's for sure cool just coming from a small state like you don't really like looking up to people, there's not really much to look up to as far as like, oh, I want to be just like, well, I looked up to Will Blackman, but at the same time, like growing up when I would say I want to go to the NFL, people would be like, oh man, that's never going to happen. Like you need to think of some other dreams. And now that I'm almost there, um, I could basically touch it. Uh, it's like, it's, it's, it's a real in a way, but at the same time, I have to stay humble and uh, continue to work because once I let all that stuff get to my head, then the work out there goes away and then my head gets big and I start believing in all the hype and then, you know, just, just stuff like that. So I just have to stay grounded and uh, continue to work.